Hello friends, uh, Aaron with The Lost 40 here. I know it's been a minute since I've been on doing a video. Apologize for that. Life's been life, so. Uh, but here I am, back in the shop, uh, getting a few things ready for summer. Uh, but we got a shovel here that I've had for a while and the handle is all needs handle, handle needs some help let's put it that way so I'll get you spun around here and you get a closer look at the handle so. So you can see it's an Ace brand shovel, which are good shovels. Um, it's a nice wood handle, but as you can see, the sun and use the varnish or coating that they put on the handle. Get that focus there. Um, has seen better days, you know. And with it getting rough and starting to peel. Be harder on on the hands, easier to get blisters. There was a sticker right here that I got peeled off, which you'll see in the video. But we'll get this sanded down and get a nice coat of oil on it, so it's a little smoother in the hand and won't uh, bug the hands too bad. So. Uh, get you set up and we'll get going so, on this. Just like with any axe handle that I work on, or anything with wood, uh, when I go to sanding, I start with a coarser grit, so just start sanding away. Taking all the varnish off that they had on here, um, you can see how it's lighter. And right here, you can see where the sticker was. Uh, I just had to sand off some of the little extra glue residue. But now, let's flip her over, do the same. 
and then come at it with a finer paper. All right, so again, just do the back side of it. Get all this extra burnish and crap off of it. Smooth up the handle. Put a nice coat of linseed oil on it. This thing will be ready to go in summer. coating that they put on it it's good to help it helps protect it for a short period of time but it does not last so um, if you want your handles to last you know you gotta take care of them so and I have neglected the shovel for a while unfortunately so, uh, so we'll keep going keep on sanding and bring this handle back to life. just to make it that much more smoother. And then we'll add the linseed oil to it. Here and 
get the um, linseed oil out. So, be right back with you. All right. Got the nice oily rag that's in. I've been using for linseed oil. Here we go. darken it up a little bit but it does a nice job protecting everything make sure you get a good coat on it Some wood just soaks this right up and it's dry in a matter of a few hours. The other takes a little bit longer. It just depends on moisture content in the air and all that fun stuff. Heat. So. Alright. Put that back in the oily rag bin. Let that dry and then we'll look at if we have to sharpen the tip of it or not. So, all right, so it's been a few hours and the linseed oil is good and dry on the handle. It's nice, smooth. And there's Kimber. Hey, Kimber. Hi, buddy. So, now we'll take a look at this tip and See what we got going on there. So, as you can tell, tip really isn't all that rounded or flattened out. Could I sharpen it up? Probably, but let me get that to focus a little bit better. There we go. But overall, it's pretty good. So. I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. So this shovel is ready for a good summer's use. So, so with that done, um, just move on to the next project. So uh, I'm going to try to get a video out every week for you. So hopefully I can keep up with that, with everything you got going on. And uh, we'll go from there. So until next time, my friends, talk to you later.